Hey, welcome back, guys. This is uh, Boom J. So, I often, uh, I most of my work is done on machine, and uh, this is the machine software, and I'm up to date on uh, the 2.68. So, I think I'm up to date to the most recent version of it that has a cool store, which includes this area right here. I'm not sure what to call this area, but I call it the area before the arrangement, all right? So that's the one where we have to talk about. We are talk about very same import stuff. So if you look at this is my arrangement, nothing in it. But on here, if you look at my first pattern, the groups, I'm pretty much gonna talk about if I uh, how to pull up the uh, detail section of your groups or your sound so you can tweak tweak sounds or tweak levels and you know do some real editing. So on this, this record right here, all right, so on this record I use uh, this is a bit that I made. I use on the group A. I usually my group A is usually my drums, but on this one is the keyboard. That's the lead. Okay, that's the lead on that. So see, that's the sound. So I use two keys keyboard sound on it. One is the in the face from the gentleman from the gentleman's um, expansion pack. And um, one is the Levita upright. So if I want to do do more enhancing to tune up these sounds, all I need to do is just go up here on this this area. I call this area the settings area for the groups. And just you know, you click on it, it opens up the interface for the gentleman, so you can actually edit. So you can tone, set the color. See how we show changes, bars, if you want more bars, big bars on it, you know, equalize it, low keys, compressor tape, anything you want to do, amount, space, the size of it, and the distance, so this opens up a gentleman, pretty cool, this is how you actually, this is how you actually edit your sound, so, you can play a keyboard sound like so you can play a keyboard sound that the way you actually played it in you don't really like it that it doesn't sound you know it doesn't bring out that thing that you want so right here you can edit you know you use your ears and you edit all right and then uh, this is for group one and the same thing goes for group b so if i go on group b on here, and I want to do the same. I don't have anything on B. I have something on C, though. But on C, same thing. So C pulls up what I have on C is actually my drum pattern. See, that's my drums. That's my drum, so here I can set the tune. See that? It changes. That's it. Okay. And um, the saturation, you can um, compress it. You can set the drive low fi uh high fi the filtering so this is all about showing you where to go on the software to actually tune tune your uh, actual kits or your expansion pack or sounds that you use all right let's go to group d for the sound let's see what we did okay we also use a sampler in here and um okay so that's pretty much what it is that's pretty much what this is and so you now know to go to 
the new system is just too cool like that. So all the whole bunch of stuff. Right, so now I know to go to this, select that, and I click the settings, go to the sample, and then you edit. That's pretty much it. So, I'm gonna have more videos actually um, on this when it comes to just little things that keep you know, keep people from moving forward or keep you from enhancing your sound when you make a we apply, we play bass or keyboard or piano key or strings or whatever. You need to actually edit in detail so that you can get the right sound. All right. Until next time, thank you guys. And I'll uh, we'll see you in the next video.